Yo, what's going on people, we're back. Got a little uh, player development league update type of video. Gonna start off uh, just showing off the four guys I wanted to work on at the start of the season to see how they're looking now. First guy, Blake Bortles. His throwing numbers are still pretty much the same. I did get him a quick development and I'm very close to getting him in superstar development. Then once I get that, I'm gonna start working on everything else and he should look pretty different by the end of the season. Marquise Lee has been pretty productive for me up to this point. Haven't really worked on his numbers a whole lot, but his route running and catching traffic have gone up a little bit. Jonathan Cyprin, I did want to work on him to kind of progress him a little bit, but eh, I kind of changed my mind because I needed a pass rush. I needed somebody to get after the quarterback. So I decided to start working on Chris Smith, whose numbers are pretty much better than Andre Branch's numbers, who I, I planned on being my pass rusher. He had the power move, I got his block shedding and his finesse move up to the 80s, and he's got pretty good numbers and he's had a pretty good season for me so far. Telvin Smith, I got up maybe around 26,000 experience for him, but put them all into him and now I, I feel like he's definitely good enough to start for me now. So I'm gonna have Geno Hayes coming off the bench, let Telvin Smith go out there and do his thing. But as you see, all four guys that I've been working on have been pretty productive for me this season. Bortles, number one in the league in passing yards. Marquise Lee is up there. Chris Smith, tops in the league in, uh, in, in sacks. Telvin Smith leading the team in interceptions. Bortles is having a pretty good season, really solid season for me. Leading the league in yards, touchdowns, passing percentage, and passer rating really solid season out of him as, uh, as little as I focus on the running game Toby Gerhardt getting about 13 carries a game but four and a half yards a carry isn't bad and almost a touchdown a game is pretty good for him uh, all my receivers all my starters you know my one through three receivers and my starting tight end all carrying the load equally pretty good uh, pretty efficient passing offense they got all the weapons I said that before I just gotta get out there and use them Cyprin even though I haven't really developed him a whole lot, you can see he leads my team in tackles. Chris Smith leads my team in sacks. Uh, and, I mean, and I've had a pretty decent season uh, as far as getting after the quarterback. Not as good as uh, you know as some players like Chris Clemens. He hasn't really done anything for me, but uh, pretty decent. Telvin Smith, three picks. Don't really force a whole lot of interceptions. My secondary is very, very not good so they don't really do a whole lot but uh you know hopefully that changes uh, as the season progresses as i upgrade my guys and just looking at some of the standings as you see i'm eight and two colts guy seven and two 49ers dude eight and one he's uh he's been on a tear all season long the packers dude seven and two seahawks seven and three so we got a pretty decent number of users in the uh, in the top ten as far as the power rankings go you see Bortles, really good start to the season through 10 games. So if I can get a Gus, Gus Bradley and Blake Bortles these awards, that experience should go a pretty long way as far as, uh, you know, helping my team toward the future. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show some of the awards on either conference just so you can see what, you know, who's getting busy, who isn't. Well, not really who isn't, but, uh, you know, see who's who's doing work. And I'm just going to kind of talk about, you know, the league up till now from my standpoint. And uh, as far as the league goes, I think the league has been alright. I've had a decent number of uh, user games. I don't really have, I only have one user game from here on out. And one thing I definitely wish I had done was, I, I mean, I, I got basically what I wanted out of the Jaguars. All I really wanted was to play with a team that had a rookie quarterback. And it was either between Bortles, Bridgewater and Logan Thomas and to me Logan Thomas I wouldn't have played with Logan Thomas because it didn't really make much sense to start him over Palmer who you know as much as I like to pass the ball I need the guy with better passing numbers not really a guy that has speed and then with the you know the Vikings they don't really have the the receivers that I like you know they're definitely a run first team with Peterson so it just made sense to kind of go with Bortles I like the uh, the passing offense, so it just made more sense. They're definitely not the most fun team I've ever played with. They're kind of boring. 
which is why I kind of wish I went with somebody like, like Houston or Detroit or even the Rams because uh, there's three users in the NFC West. So I would have had six user games automatically plus whoever else I got to play. And, you know, that defensive line, really nice. I, I definitely probably would have had a lot of fun playing with that defensive line. They just didn't really have the receivers that I would have liked to play with. But, you know, as far as what I what I wanted to get, just playing with a rookie quarterback, just trying to build him up, Blake Bortles has actually been really solid. And, I, you know, and uh, I have had some fun playing with the uh, with the Jaguars. Wish I, had played, wish, I had, wish I had picked the Lions, but it is what it is. And definitely has some plans for the offseason. No really, no need to really talk about them now. I will have a video near the end of the season talking about some offseason plans. But for now, this video is winding down. I do have a 2K video coming up shortly. So definitely come back and check that one out.